Okay, to finish my motherboard after installation of the CPU block, I would like to water cool my memory this time. Um, maybe not major benefit, but for the sake of it, I never water cooled memory before, so I got this uh, EKRM dominator block that will feed specifically with Corsair dominator type of the memory. So, what I will do, I will take memory out, uh, remove the existing heat sinks. Mm -hmm and put block on. I already have a tutorial about it, so I'm not going to just do the same for the second time. One thing which is important is uh, this time I have only three modules. I make sure that you check with your motherboard which slots you populate, because if you install everything and you use the wrong slots, you're basically screwed, because you need to disassemble the entire thing. So just verify that, and uh, I will uh, put memory on and uh, put block on as well. And We'll make probably a couple shots just uh, for the sake of it, but without too much details. Those heat sinks just a uh, really gorgeous color. I don't know if it will be as good on a video because you video sometimes makes things a little bit milkish, uh, not as sharp. But this color is so deep red, like mm, really cool. Big shame that I have to remove it. Ah, check this out. Remove the heat sink. So this is uh, one. Thermal pod. This is the second one. Thermal pod. If you can see that, and uh, another one. There's one thermal pod. No second pod. Just a little piece. I guess uh, assembled by robots. Here's a block. You see, this is a provisioning for LEDs as well. So it's something that I plan to incorporate to see if how many lights I can put on this build. And how it will look. Those are key warranty labels. They really hardcore, I tell you. Like, good luck to take it off. Just do it for the looks. Nothing against the warranty. EK recommends to put um, thermal grease on the memory and the attach block through the thermal grease. Um, kind of don't like that idea too much. Kind of sounds a little bit too messy so I will um, go against the recommendation and I have some extreme performance uh, thermal tape here like 40 Kelvin some some insane number uh, it's conductive so it's uh, and also it was damaged in shipping so it's, I can't sell it anyways so and I would like to use it up those things used uh, for CPUs and laptops and other thermally like challenging environments, so to speak. So I'm pretty sure it will work pretty well for this particular case. And also thermally adhesive, so it will be really easy to apply. This I hope so. only quarter millimeter so a little bit challenging to separate it but with enough determination I'm pretty sure can be done yeah it works here you go you see if you're careful you can peel it off but it's extremely thin layer of uh, carbon or I don't know, no, something, something extreme and that's exactly what we want cool now I need to apply one two more and I peel the top part of protective film because it's always film on both sides. And then I can screw the block on. Easy. Actually, I need to correct myself. On outside, there is no protective film. So it's, it's a bare graphite material. And uh, I look up through the data sheet to make sure. So there's only one side which is self-adhesive has film, the other side is not. Which is actually even better because in this case I don't even need, um, you know, if you need to remove it, so it will be so easy. All you need is just to put block on and screw it. And we'll see. If it will work really badly, we'll put thermal paste, but 
my gut feeling that this thing will work just fine so what we need to do is to put this thing on and put all six screws back okay this we have a final result so two blocks installed motherboard block is not available here at all so it's not even an option so I have two of those and um, I just need to mount whole assembly into the case and uh, that one we have right here work in progress <laughs>